Hey guys, welcome to Pajama Mama's Kitchen. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make some um, smashed garlicky cream cheese potatoes. Um, let me get a few over here and show our ingredients. Do not mind the fried chicken. I'm frying some more chicken. I was frying some. I, I don't know if you guys seen the video. I posted it Saturday night. My husband said, I want some more of that chicken. <laughs> so I'm making him some more. But I'm going to show you the ingredients. So I have about six potatoes right here boiling already so you're going to use between six and eight potatoes it depends on how many people you are feeding so give me a second and i'll show you what i have okay guys right here i have some butter cream cheese this right here is some gar granulated garlic this is um some garlic that i have chopped and it's a heaping worth of garlic it's one of these little packets so I chopped up one of these. So probably about eight, nine cloves of garlic, maybe more. Um, like I said, the cream cheese. This is some pajama mama spice. You're gonna use your all-purpose seasoning or even just some salt is fine. This is some black pepper. And this right here is a half a cup of cream, okay? Let me get out of the way. This right here is some dried garlic. So we have three different kinds of garlic because they're gonna be very garlicky, okay? And it's almost like my um, mashed potatoes, but it, we're just going to smash them because we're not going to make them all um, really smooth. I like chunks, so we're, we're just going to kind of smash them. And right here, I have, I'm going to use some chicken base um, or some better than bouillon, and I'm going to put in the potatoes right now. Okay, guys, it's already boiling over there. I'm boiling about... 10 minutes and 15 minutes and I'm just going to take about that much a couple tables a couple teaspoons um, of that that's just so it can um, you give it a head start with some flavor so they're almost done they've been cooking for about 10 15 minutes and then I'm going to drain that when I come back okay guys the potatoes are done I'm going to drain them Just kind of drain them and let them rest there for a minute. Then put them back in the, uh, the pot. Okay guys, what I do do before I put the potatoes back in, I add the butter and the cream cheese. And I have turned that heat off. And then I'm gonna add this dried um, garlic also. And then I grab the potatoes, just pour that right on top before I put anything else in there. Okay guys, so I, I have let that sit on uh, top of that for probably a couple minutes just so I could um, melt that cream cheese and that butter a bit. And I want to add this garlic in there. The garlic uh, powder or granular garlic, whichever one you want. Now you don't have to use those that dried garlic. I just see. I just find that it adds a little bit extra uh, garlic flavor. And I'm just going to put half of that seasoning in there because you guys knew that. That um, then I'm going to use this masher. You guys knew that. Uh, what do you call it? chicken base stock was uh concentrated so it's very salty so like i said i don't want to mash it up like um mashed potatoes because i want some chunks in there so that's why we call it smashed so i'm where's my spoon at I'm grab this spoon then i'm going to put this uh cream in there and you guys see my first batch of chicken is out. A tip for you is to let it let it uh, cool on that on wire racks and it'll stay crispy. And then also I'm frying, let me see, let me let you guys get a look over here. I am frying my chicken in some peanut oil. Peanut oil is is a very high heat. I mean it, it has a smoke high smoking point. 
and oh my god it fries the chicken so good and if you can if you can fry in cast iron is the best thing to fry chicken in you can use your enamel cast iron also that's what i do also too but if you you're not really supposed to use this cast iron on these glass stoves just make sure if you do just don't drag it across you'll be fine don't drag it across the uh the stove so let's get back over here to what we're talking about so then i'm gonna add maybe just a quarter cup for right now let me see that's kind of hot let me get my pot holder that's looking pretty good and creamy isn't it probably going to need that other quarter cup but you see how it still has the chunkiness that I want I haven't decided if I'm going to make gravy or not okay guys these potatoes are done I'm going to show you how creamy they are and I did put the rest of that seasoning in there because it needed it and they are perfect let me see let me Look at those chunks of potatoes. So let me try this. I'm not gonna eat too much because we are about to eat dinner. Let me try this. They are very creamy and garlicky. It has a really strong garlic flavor. Now, if you don't like garlic, maybe leave out the dried garlic and the um let me turn this off. Let me leave all that out and just put the garlic, um, the chopped garlic in there. But I, we love garlic, so I wanted a garlicky smashed potato, and that's what it is. So for the giveaway, we are on uh, two ninety five. I think I think we're on two ninety five. And let me get you over here, show you what's gonna go in the box. Okay, guys, so I have a wooden spoon that's going to go into one of the boxes. And you guys see, I use um, wooden spoons a lot and spatulas. I love them. They protect your pans, and I just love the way they operate. So I do have a wooden spoon, and then I also have some of these Allen and Roth. Um, they're uh, chalkboard tags, so like if you're organizing, these are... You see they have the jute on the top of them and you just hang them off your baskets or whatever you're organizing and you write with a chalk or a chalk pen. Really like these and eight comes in this pack. Okay, to enter the contest, you must be a um, subscriber to Pajama Mama's Kitchen and more. All you have to do is thumbs up this video and then go down to the comments and type I am in and you will be automatically entered in the contest to the next video. You guys have a great day.